so we all know about Windows 11. It has a lot of new and great features and annoyances. So that is why I decided to make this video telling you guys how to fix Windows 11's annoyances and completely get rid of them. So let's get started. So the first annoying thing about Windows 11 is the rounded corners. So due to the rounded corners, it is now difficult to place your cursor on the corners of the windows or rather that it so due to the rounded corners, it is now difficult to place your cursor on the corners of the windows to return resize. It doesn't even feel efficient to use it with a keyboard and a mouse. So to bring back good old square corners to Windows 11, we have a cool app called Win 11 Disable Rounded Corners. And that's what it exactly says in the title. Disable rounded corners on Windows 11. And it does it by modifying the window manager dll file on your C drive, which is a critical file though. And it can create a system restore point to restore the old state of your computer just in case if the process fails. So no risks are involved. So to download Win 11 Disabled Run Corners, hit the link in the, in the description box below and it should be on this website. Now here, go into the releases section and click on the .exe file. And now the .exe file should be downloaded. So you just want to run that up as admin, and if you see this pop up, click on more info and it run anyway. And now click yes in the use account control prompt. And now let Win11 disable run of corners do its work. And once it's done, close the command prompt window, and now as you can see, we have successfully disabled run rounded corners on Windows 11. And now let's jump right into the taskbar. So the first annoyance in the taskbar are the centered icons. It would have been good if the icons only are centered and the start button was on the left. But for some weird reason, Microsoft decided to center the start button too, which makes it difficult to access the start menu. So to change the button layout back to the left, just simply right click on the taskbar and hit the only option taskbar settings and change the taskbar layout to the left. And also with Windows 11, the internet sound and battery icons are all merged together in this cluttered up action center thingy, which makes it difficult to access them. So to fix this and a handful of other issues, there's a program called Startleback. So Startleback provides you with a good old Windows 10-like taskbar that matches the design language of Windows 11, and also fixes most of the deal-breaking issues of Windows 11, like classic full and default context menus, drag and drop steps to the taskbar, efficient and legacy separated icons, and a lot more. And even provides some unofficial features like dark mode support for unupdated Win32 apps or a Windows 7 like start menu. If you are going with that modern look, you have a feature called Segments, and it just basically crops the taskbar into various little segments, which makes a lot more sense, especially in the presence of a standard taskbar. But unfortunately, with all that, startled back is the paid software, but you can get a 30-day free trial by the way, but let's be real. Let's just say that you don't have the budget, but still want to fix Windows 11, well let's take a look at some other ways you can get some similar features of startled back for totally free. So first, let's start with the task for segments. For this, we're going to be using a cool program called RunTB. So with RunTB, you can seamlessly crop your taskbar into various little segments, just like Startle Back. I mean, just look at it. Wow. And that's not the end. You have a lot of options here to mess with, like changing the margins for example. And you can do stuff like bringing back full classic full context menus by downloading apps like Winner Tweaker. So Winner Tweaker has a lot of uh, options more than just simply enabling the, enabling the classic full context menus, by the way. So if you want a full dedicated video on Winner Tweaker, please be sure to tell them in the comment section below. Or if you want a tweaker that is exclusive to Windows 11, or I recommend downloading Ultimate Windows Tweaker 5 by the Windows Club. And again, still the same here. Ultimate Windows Trigger 5 also has a lot of options, and again, if you want a separate video on Ultimate Windows Trigger 5, tell them in the comment section below. And if you use Chrome, you know the hassle of changing every link type just to set Chrome as a default browser in Windows 11. And even if you do, Microsoft Edge will open up from time to time while accessing Windows Help or surf surfing the web through the Windows Search, for example. Well, not anymore. Introducing MS Edge Redirect. So MS Edge Redirect does what it exactly says in the title. It redirects you to a, your default browser whenever it detects a special kind of hidden Microsoft Edge link type. So hopefully, you'll never see Microsoft Edge again. So now that we've fixed Windows 11, let's take a look at some other bonus apps that are not exclusive to Windows 11. Starting with Alltrack. 
which not to confuse with Premiere Pro editors out there, is a feature in Linux that lets you hold any keyboard shortcut on your keyboard and click anywhere on the window to drag it around. Well, with Alt Drag, you can bring the same feature to Windows. And the software is kinda old and doesn't support Aerosnap. But it has got its own version of Aerosnap, which looks and acts kinda similar. To fix this, there's a another app called Slicer, which lets you position and resize windows just by use just using the Slicer menu, which can be accessed by pressing Windows or Control plus Z. And there's another app called Twinkle Tray, which lets you change the brightness of even your external displays. But it doesn't step through the brightness levels like most modern laptops, though. But I mean, yeah, it just simply works. And you can even set minimum and maximum brightness levels. Pretty cool, right? And then you can also schedule the brightness levels to decrease or increase throughout the day. In another app called Auto Dark Mode, lets you show the dark mode and light mode at particular times, and even lets you change wallpapers depending upon the theme they're in. And with an app called Files, you can get a Windows 11-like modern file explorer. And these apps and tweaks are all for average users. But let's say you're a power user and want more powerful toys to tweak your computer. Well, I recommend Power Toys. So Power Toys is an app that is completely developed by Microsoft and is also fully free and open source. And Power Toys has a lot of features that I can't go through in this video, as it would make it pretty long. So if you want a full dedicated video on Power Toys, leave them leave a comment down below and subscribe to my channel with notifications set to all so you won't miss it. But for now, let's take a look at just some of my favorite features of Power Toys, starting with Color Picker. So with Color Picker, you can pick colors from any image or video or something else on the screen with their color codes. Definitely useful if you're trying to replicate a color while editing an image in Photoshop, though. And the Color Picker can be accessed by pressing the Ctrl Shift plus C keys on your keyboard, and it can be customized too. And another cool feature in Power Toys is Power Toys Run which is pretty similar to the Spotlight Search on macOS, and can be accessed by pressing the Alt plus Space keys on your keyboard, which can be customized. And then we got Power Rename. This is a pretty powerful tool to rename multiple files all at once. And finally, we got the Image Resizer tool to quickly and efficiently resize your images, which is simply a right click. But with all of that, Power Toys is in preview and it might have a lot of bugs and performance issues. So you want to consider that too. So with all of that, here is our final result. So a quick recap on what we did today. We disabled the runner corners, and with startle back, we were able to fix a lot of deal-breaking UI issues of Windows 11. But the free tweaks, yeah, well it's not that good compared to startle back. That's what you can get for free. Unfortunately. So yeah, that's all for today's video. So hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I just wanted to hit hit that like button and get subscribed to my channel and set that notifications to all so you'll never miss out on any single piece of content that I upload. And also, if any of the things that I've shown you helped, or if you just simply have any queries or any ideas for your future upcoming videos, leave a comment down below. It will be pretty helpful for me. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Goodbye.